County police have arrested a second suspect in a deadly shooting. It happened earlier this month in Evanston. 25 year old D'Amico Nelson was killed in the shooting. Simone Jameson spoke with his family tonight and she's live with more. Yeah, that's right, Rob. Trisha, 25 year old D'Amico Nelson was shot and killed on Idlewild Avenue, just a few yards away from Xavier University on February 13th. Police arrested 21 year old Camonte Fisher in connection with D'Amico's death last week. And today we learned that 22 year old Camonte Browner, Keyshawn Browner, also faces charges in D'Amico's killing. Really a beautiful, a kind soul with an infectious smile that really laid a heavy piece of life on all of us. Kiavani Johnson tells us 25 year old D'Amico Nelson was her baby brother. Cincinnati police say D'Amico and another person were shot on Idlewild Avenue in Evanston back on February 13th. D'Amico died at a local hospital. His sister says despite having his funeral, reality still hasn't sunken in that her beloved Miko is gone. Even in his 25 years of life, he lived so many lives. He did so many things from basketball, school, um, joining the U.S. Army. He served our country. I only got to say one thing. Mm -hmm. How do you take a good man? How do you take a good man? Police arrested 21-year-old Camonte Fisher in connection with D'Amico's death last Thursday. And on Friday, police arrested a second suspect, 22-year-old Keyshawn Browner, on aggravated murder and felonious assault charges in connection with D'Amico's death. We are so grateful for the arrest that Cincinnati Police Department has conducted. We are grateful for everything that they have done throughout this investigation. We seek capital murder. That is, that is our hopes as a family. Johnson believes the suspects lured her brother and his friend to Idlewild Avenue with an agreement to pick up a phone. D'Amico did not deserve this. He was a driver. I give my friends rides all the time. This should not have happened. Johnson tells me her family is beside themselves on how the suspects were able to get a hold of guns. They believe stricter gun laws could have prevented D'Amico's killing which they say was absolutely senseless. We will not stand for it. We will not quit. We will not allow his name to go in vain. There should be better and more conditions to get a gun. And Cincinnati police say the investigation into D'Amico Nelson's shooting death is ongoing. Anyone with any additional information is asked to contact CPD's Homicide Unit at 513-352-3542. Live from CPD District 2, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now. Simone, thank you. New tonight, the